G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza, and in this Let's Draw video I'm going to be drawing a, a character that has been requested in the live stream, uh, and for those of you who don't know, I've started doing these Let's Draw videos on paper and pencil and in live stream, so if you guys want to join the live stream and give your requests, and I'll end up drawing once a week a video that has been requested by someone in the live stream, and this has been requested by, in the chat, someone named Guts, Goodstein Snowlin, and it's going to be Leonidas from 300. So the first thing I'm going to do is start off by sketching the basic pose. So I position the head and I want him kind of angled looking up like this and I want to sketch the character's sort of motion and I want a bit of a looking up pose. I want to, I want to see like see the, that powerful stance as if the camera looking at him or the viewing angle is quite low which makes him look quite towering. So we add the neck and I'm just going to have this angle in the shoulders and we'll draw the rib cage torso area and draw the, the flow line of the body like that into the pelvis like that and then we start drawing uh, some just basic flow motion lines and, and construction lines for where the arms will be so I have the shoulder here and then the back shoulder and this arm's going to go down to the side like that with a spear in his hand and then we have this back arm, which I think I'll hunch up because he's bearing weight and he's going to be holding a large shield like this. All right, so we've got the basic sort of flow, the basic look of the character. I'm just going to pull the camera up a bit so you can see a bit more. Now it is quite light, so you won't be able to see it as clearly. Uh, but that's because I'm sketching it very light and that's the way to go when you're drawing the very first area of construction lines and then the next the next part of the construction lines I can start adding a bit more refinement and a bit more darkness uh, so for example in the torso starting to outline the anatomy and the silhouette of the lines of the body now of course the Spartans at least in the movie 300 because uh, we don't know what they were like in person but we have seen statues and stuff like that. They have very uh, masculine, uh, powerful physiques. So we want to make sure we outline the anatomy, very broad shoulders. Now, similar to the Spider-Man that we drew last week, we want to make sure that the silhouette is strong and powerful and we're communicating exactly what we want to communicate. So in the Spider-Man, we wanted to have that very gangly sort of uh, stretched pose and stuff like that. In this one, we're going to really go for power. So we're just going to add a lot of thickness to the upper area of the body. We're going to go for slightly jagged proportions in the muscles. And then I want to make sure that the pants, or not the pants, the cod piece, whatever he's wearing, is on that angle. And Leonidas does not skip leg day. So we're going to draw the butt and the legs. And going through, I'm just going to speed up the process of me just kind of adding in the anatomy and refining the construction lines. Okay, so now that we've got his basic anatomy in and we've got a very strong silhouette, I think the shoulder maybe is a little too big, but overall we've got the basic idea and start adding the refining details that make him Leonidas. So for example, we have this cloak that's going to have to come on top here, hang over his shoulder and give that look of power and king. So I'm just going to have the cape flow behind him like this, we just get that that flow, that motion, as if it's very dramatic, as if we've got this, you know, king standing in front of the battlefield. Start finding the line of the spear. And I want to, uh, when I get to the details, I'm going to give a bit more of a comic book feel. So go with a thinner line and add some shading and stuff like that. So we're now doing the shield, which is one of the main staples of a Spartan's arsenal. 
I think overall we've, we're getting the point across. And of course the helmet that he has with this kind of big fluffy thing, I forget, I don't know what you call it. Someone will correct me and tell me in the YouTube video. And we get the feel of the Spartan King. And this is Leonidas. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go through and add the details in fine liner. So I have my fine liner pen here. I'm going to go around and do the outlines and then we're going to do a bit of shading. Alright, so as you can see, I've done the basic fine lining of the piece and done, you know, kind of the outlines of the anatomy and, and all that stuff. And so now I'm just going to add some details that make it look a bit cooler. So first thing I'm going to do is outline the whole piece with a Sharpie. Uh, that's a fairly quick process and I'll just speed up through it so you can see the end result. Alright, so now as you can see, I've added the outline around Leonidas and uh, it adds that certain uh, emphasis to his silhouette which really helps bring out the piece. Now I'm going to add a little bit more of a comic book feel to it by adding a bit of shading. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to create a fake backlight by just drawing a little gap between the edge of the left side of the image here, like this. It might seem a little weird at the moment, but you'll get the, you'll find out what I'm doing in a moment. This is just a bit of an approach that I take sometimes if I do a comic book sort of feel. I'm just going to create that sort of backlight edge down along here, like this, uh, and a little bit on the right. Now I'm going to take the sharpie and just draw it along there in the same area and just create a little bit of a, a black edge in these areas. Now it might seem a bit strange at first, but I'm essentially adding an area of thick shadow. And wherever appropriate, I drag that out into, for example, under these muscles, the crevices, where it would build up, where the shadow would gather. So you can see how fairly quickly Kind of adding another dimension of space of um, thickness to the, these parts of the image. And there you go, that's the first stage of doing it. And the second stage is grabbing my fine liner again and just kind of extending these lines, but without uh, filling it in, we're just kind of be adding a bit of this cross hatching sort of effect like this. So in some of the areas where the shadow would extend, in particular here in the face, it's going to be quite dark. So I'm just going to fill this in like that. And very quickly we build up this sort of stylized comic book look. And I want to keep everything on the same angle, so I'm drawing these lines all on the same angle. And it just, I don't know, it, it's a stylistic thing. Uh, it doesn't always work, but in something like this, in a piece like this where it's, we want that grungy feel, 
it can really help. So I'm going to go through the piece and add that and you can see how quickly that kind of changes the tone of the piece. And you can see how very quickly we've built up this different dimension in the piece. We've created a very different sort of feel just by going in this one direction. And we're going to turn it into a bit of cross hatching by doing lines in the opposite direction, but just in a few choice areas. So for example, here we just have that one tone of line. So I'm just going to add a little bit in the other direction, just at the front here to show the difference between this darker area and uh, this unshaded area here. Uh, another area that it would be useful would be here on the beard because I want to add more darkness in the beard and more texture because it's more of a scraggly look and then here in the eyes as well just to make the whites of the eyes stand out a little more so that's basically what we're going to be doing now is going through here and just adding in some of the areas that are darker than other areas some of these choice lines in the opposite direction So there you go ladies and gentlemen, that is the finished Leonidas that I've drawn and as you can see it's got a bit of a comic book sort of look by using the cross hatching and uh, areas of shadow in thick areas like here in the arms and in the body and, and areas that are quite dark. So for example here under the leg you can see it's a very solid sort of dark colour and uh, that's the let's draw. As you can see I've dedicated it to Gutstein Snowland, I can't pronounce it, who was in the chat this morning and suggested I draw Leonidas and that's the way I'm going to be doing these live streams so make sure to follow the link in the description and uh, you can be notified of the next let's draw event which will be the same time next week um, where you can give your requests and whoever's request is picked will get a piece drawn and dedicated to them and shown on the YouTube channel. So thanks for joining me ladies and gentlemen and until next time I will see you later.